One of the gyms he visited in the last year was Montoya's Boxing Gym in Southern Dallas. This is a picture with one of the owners. He loved boxing, talked about boxing, talked about wanting to box. Montoya says boxers oftentimes train in unbearable heat conditions. The more extreme the heat, the more condition, the better condition your body's going to be when it's time to fight. Sometimes there can be up to 50 people in this gym and the temperatures can reach up to 115 degrees because there are no air conditioners, but they say this is the way boxers train. A lot of pro boxers champions, they shut the doors, turn off the fans, and even though they have heat in there, they turn the heater on. According to an autopsy report, Marion Barber's thermostat in his residence was set at 91 degrees with the heat set to on. The medical examiner ruled he died of a heat stroke. Mr. Barber was known to exercise in sauna-like conditions. That's whenever your brain starts shutting down and your heart starts to shut down as well because it's been working very hard trying to pump blood to all of your organs in your brain. But because of the heat, they're, both of those organs start going into what we call in organ failure. Doctors say before someone has a heat stroke, they suffer heat exhaustion and there are warning signs. You'll start noticing that instead of sweating, you're no longer sweating. And you're starting to get chills and you're starting to get goosebumps. All of these are signs that your body is overheating. Wow. 